Good morning, everybody. We're down here at Burson Pond in Mona, Utah. We're here with this uh, prototype of ours. We've had a lot of questions about how it works and how we do things with it, so we decided that we'd do this little video series to uh, try to explain some things, and we're pretty excited about that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we've been also been asked about how to install a brand new package into the B-Barrel, so we're gonna show you that this morning. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna decide kind of how far down you want the queen to go into. So I'm gonna go put her in about the fourth ring. You'll recognize this. This is the queen cage that the, that the queen will come in. And it's basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put her, we're gonna hang that so just, she just hangs right up on the top, just like that. Okay, so I just slipped that, that I bent that over to kind of clip that in. And then obviously with the queen, we wanna be really careful with her, so we're gonna set her back gently like that, make sure that she's on the, to, uh, on the top. And then we put the, uh, the other rings on, on top of her. We'll take the, the back ring spacer off We'll remove the feeder. So at that point, we have this, this space that we can dump the bees into from, from the bee cage that, they, that the colony ships with. This is a little, this is just about right for three pounds of bees, but my wife uh, showed me something really cool. If I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, I just bought some poster board from uh, the grocery store this morning. And I cut this at six inches so I can actually Go like that, make it a little like almost like a hat box, and now it's six inches deep. So however deep you want this to put your bees in, you shake the bees in. They're obviously going to migrate towards the queen. It takes about five or six minutes for them to move down. While you're waiting, you can take the feeder, you can put it back on top as a lid, and then once the bees have sufficiently uh, trickled down through, you just put the lid back on, like or you put the feeder back in like so. You lock the spacer in place, you put the rods back in, you're done. It's that simple. Hey, thanks for watching these videos today. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And if you have questions, feel free to email us at info at bscientific.net.